Hello everybody, welcome back to My Fitspiration. The blog is with the mostest, right? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. So we're here today to talk about quick lunches on the go. Yes. A lot of you are working moms, some of you are working dads, working singles like me. Yes. Some of you have to take your lunch to the gym every day. Yes. Having something quick and easy that's healthy, that has high in fiber, low in calorie, we're talking about that today. Yep. Did I say easy? Easy. I mean easy and not cheesy. And you're, you, you are pretty easy. <gasps> what? Well, just kidding. Okay. So the, one of our favorite high fiber staples is yes. the what? The GG Crisp, let's see, let me just read it because I mess this up every time. GG Scandinavian brand crisp bread crackers. And why don't you tell them how hard it was for us to find these in Nashville? So I know this is, everyone's like, we don't have those in my city. We ate these on the ranch every day. My Kroger is now carrying them because guess who made a request? You can request anything at your grocery store and they will have to stock it at least once. So of course they stocked it. I buy them, buy them all out, they stock it again. So these are awesome. They look like this. Now, what's the rule on these? Okay, um, I will be honest with you. Just by themselves, not so good. Sort of a cardboardish. Mm, yeah, it's a taste. vehicle. It's definitely a vehicle. But these you are want the food in and what? Out. And these will definitely go in and come out. Weight loss, name of the game. But the great thing about these, they're only 12 calories a piece. Mm -hmm. I don't know any piece of bread that's 12 that's right. calories or cracker for that it's matter. True. And it's fantastic because it gives you tons of fiber. No sugar. No sugar. Very little carbs. It's packed awesome. with fiber. These are fantastic. We love the GGs. We do lots of things with them. You can put peanut butter on them. You can do a little bit of reduced fat. I mean, cream cheese, cinnamon. You could make it like cinnamon toast. Anything. They go a long while. Totally. So, Why don't you tell us who, who introduced you to those? So this is a Bob Harper favorite. Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. AKA Babel. Uh, Bob brought these to the ranch because all the contestants kept saying, I want something crunchy. I want to have bread. I want this. How many of you love chips, crackers? And he, this was such a smart thing. 12 calories, all this fiber. This is a ranch approved food. Love it. So, when well, we're gonna start our lunch, if you're gonna be eating at home, a meal like lunch should not be a huge meal, obviously. You want your biggest meal, obviously, in, in the morning. Right. So don't choose a huge plate. A medium to size to a small yeah. plate is perfect, right? Because, I'm sorry, there's nothing worse than, like, making your lunch and doing Absolutely. it. And you have, like, two things on this huge, huge plate. So, small plates, fill them up, it's gonna exactly. make you look... The big plates actually make me feel hungrier. They and do. we all know that happens, cranky, cranky. Right. Okay. So you're gonna pick two GGs for lunch, right? 24 calories. 24 calories, and there's usually like a rough side and a smooth side. I get it on the smooth side, that way I can get all the hummus and all the nooks and crannies, okay? Let's talk hummus. Another great thing, packed with flavor, packed with lots of fiber too. Protein. But here's lots the thing protein. about hummus is, this is not a hummus that you dip and dip and eat, right? No. You wanna measure this out, okay? So, so what's the serving size on the that? The serving size is two tablespoons for 50 calories, which is a great deal, okay? So we're gonna have your, Tablespoon, one tablespoon on each cracker is perfect. What's your favorite kind of hummus? Oh, definitely the spicy hummus. Or the roasted red pepper is also really we delicious. We like our spicy, I mean, not spicy, we like our hummus. Spicy! Supremely spicy! That's right. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make sure, and people, rounded tablespoon is just for baking, not for real eating, okay? So we're gonna make sure our tablespoon is, is even. about even. That's right. Perfect. So basically, you're just gonna, I mean, this is, people, this is not rocket science. Tablespoon on each, and while I get this other tablespoon going, I'm gonna have you spread this on while I get our other ingredient out. Perfect. That's about right. Yeah. Here. Okay, sous chef, can you take my plate for me here? I will. Perfect. I'm a good spreader. Absolutely. And like I said, there's so many things that can go on Gigi's, from peanut butter to a little bit of a banana. My dad loves that for breakfast. You can eat them at every meal. You know, um, we've even tricked kids into eating them. And kids they like them. love them. They really do. This makes do. a great cucumber sandwich. One GG, a little bit of reduced fat organic cream cheese, some cucumbers, and you're Perfect. ready to go, right? The thing about it is you want to have some protein with, with your lunch. So Olivia and I like to go into the deli section and have them actually cut us turkey. Now, some people are like, it's, it's more expensive. It really isn't. If you shop your coupons, you can get great deals mm -hmm. on the turkey. Now, one tip on the turkey, try to go for the lower sodium. And also, sometimes smoked, the word smoked does not mean higher, higher in sodium. Whole Foods has a low sodium turkey and a smoked turkey. It's still the same. Make friends with your deli guy, ask him, what's the lowest sodium turkey you have? If you'd rather have ham, if you'd rather have a little bit of roast beef. Now, check your serving size too, because if you wanna weigh your, we like to weigh our turkey also, 
Usually about for lunch, I would say two to four ounces is, is a serving. The thing that's great about turkey, it's about 30 calories an ounce. So that's you're right. talking about a really, really, really low amount of calories, that's right. big protein, big bang for your buck. You're going to feel fuller longer. And the other thing is that most of the deli counters, if you just ask them, you know, mm -hmm. if you're getting, let's say, a boar's head, low sodium, right. smoked turkey, for instance, um, they'll have a printout of all the boar's head, that's you, right. you know, things that they carry and mm -hmm. the calorie counts and all of that. So you don't even have to guesstimate, you know, exactly by which product you're getting, That's how right. many calories per ounce is in each product. And most every grocery store will have that. Absolutely. And sometimes I just ask, what's the most popular turkey here that you sell? What's the one that tastes the best? I don't even go over to the prepackaged turkey anymore. No. I don't even use that. It's packed with sodium. It's been sitting on the shelf for months and months. This is a fresher, better ingredient yeah. for you. So most of the time, one piece of turkey is pretty big. Half, put it, put it in half, you know, save your calories. If you want, if you like a little bit more turkey, Olivia likes a little bit more, um, Meat on her DJ. I like a little bit more turkey. Right. I like two pieces of So piece on, on yours, each. I'm going to give you a little bit more. Delicious. Also, sometimes Olivia will put a little bit of spinach and tomato on here. Mm -hmm. Make this what you want it. Yeah. So already we have the GG, we have hummus, we have turkey. Delicious, right? Also, we want to make some sides for this lunch, okay? Yes. Now, most of you already know this. One of my favorite sides. You can buy pre hard boiled eggs. I know that sounds really lazy, but I'm not the best hard boiled egger. What well, about you? Sometimes I'm sorry, but There's when no you time. try to peel those things, it takes forever to peel hard boiled exactly. eggs. Exactly. So when you get the pre-hard boiled eggs, you want to cut it long ways, just like this. And if it's a really good hard boiled egg, the yolk will literally pop right out. See that? You just squeeze it, it pops right out. just squeeze right it, it all just comes right out of there. This one's a little bit more difficult, but. It's all right. See, pops right out, okay? So then you have two of, this is one egg white. How much, how many calories is, is an egg white? 17. 17 calories, that's practically free, right? Now, we all know we love the holy guacamole. It's our favorite thing. Love it. I choose to get the pre-packaged 100 calorie packs each so I know how many calories I'm getting. Exactly. This also makes a great snack. What do you want, spicy or regular? Regular. That's right, I'm a spicy girl. I mean, I like spicy, but for, for some of these kind of things, I just like regular. I'm spicy all the way. She is. She'll put sauce on anything. Uh, on anything. Okay, so. so we're gonna open our little corner, like a perfect. little pastry bag almost, except yes. without icing, right? Right, too bad. And we're just gonna fill our little egg. Let's see who makes the neatest one. Uh, definitely yours. Whoop. Mine is a little lopsided. And what do we like to call these, Hannah? She devil eggs. These are she devil eggs. I think I want to take a bite. Do you? Yes. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. to the Mmm. That is so good. I, I need love a, it. I uh, quiet. <laughs> mm, 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 She's having a moment. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Okay. So that you have your delicious. deviled egg, spicy guacamole. Mm -hmm. This is almost like an open face sandwich, right? If you want to add a salad to this, have a prepared salad. Mm -hmm. We also have our favorite almonds. Mm -hmm. This is a great brand. It's called Sally Smart. Key lime jalapeno is my favorite. You can get these Delicious. at Whole Foods. Some Kroger's have these. Why don't you taste one and tell me what you think? Okay. Oh my gosh, so good. They're really good. So you're talking about a couple almonds on the side of this plate. Some spinach, maybe just mm -hmm. put a little bit of lemon juice on the spinach. Delicious. Absolutely. Now sometimes, after lunch, I need a sweet snack. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she I just does want a, a carb, too. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You ever just want a carb? Mm -hmm. We found this product. Actually, this is a Marcy and Courtney find, okay. find mm -hmm. at Costco. They're called Thin Addictives. Basically what this is, it's a piece of biscotti that's been baked with really better ingredients, almonds, pistachios, and it has this wonderful almondy flavor. You can dip it in coffee. You get three pieces for how many calories? 110 calories. 110 calories. So two hours after lunch, I want to take a break, have a cup of coffee maybe, since I've already drinking my water, and have these. They're delicious. They're thin. They're addicting. Thin addictives. Three pieces. So it's you like can have you get three. Delicious. Oh, let's let's. It's like a cookie in my mouth. It's so good. They're really it's good. So good. Mm -hmm. So why don't you taste the GT and tell me what you think? All right. I mean, it's time for lunch. I'm mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Oh, it tastes like the ranch. Mm. Maybe not exactly like the ranch. Mm. So good. It's good. There you have it. Quick and easy meal. The calories are going to be down, down below. We're going to tell you where to get these products. You can make this meal in literally two minutes. Out the door, Ziploc bags, mm -hmm. to go. Do it, love it, learn it, live it. Have to lunch on the go. I love it. Yeah.